This is a KMR S01 Lance, or to the rest of the world, a CZ Shadow 2. No, that is not a suppressor, and no, that is not an accuracy-inducing counterbalance weight. To be legal for the UK market, it needs a barrel length of at least 30 centimetres and an overall length of 60. The UK has some of the strictest gun laws in the world. Pistols actually used to be legal here. That was until 1996 in a small town in Scotland called Dunblane where an individual opened fire in a primary school before turning the pistol on themselves. This remains the deadliest mass shooting in our history to this day. It led to the snowdrop campaign that eventually saw the outright banning of handguns for private ownership. A company called KMR took the already proven platform of CZ Shadow 2 and turned it into what you see today. It is said to be the holy grail of British pistols and for almost £2,000 I should hope so too. The looks I absolutely love the almost bronze finish with the contrasting black slide. So what comes in the box? In fact, this is one of the best boxes that I've ever seen. Um, inside, you get three 10 round magazines with 22 round magazines available. Get a nice little cleaning kit with some oil. Spare spring guides, different tension springs, I bought this with the optional sight. This is a 8MOA and obviously has the original iron sights. Assembly is quite straightforward. So now the part you've all been waiting for. What do I don't I like about the KMR lens? Right. The trigger. The trigger is absolutely beautiful. If I, if I do it left handed, there's not much take up. It can't be more than a two to three pound trigger. Not a lot of reset. Very good. Reliability wise. So I've put several hundred rounds through this and as you could probably tell I've, I've definitely not cleaned it and I've had one malfunction and that is all. Magazines fit into standard 9mm sort of Beretta Glock fast bag pouches. Going back to the trigger it is single and dual stage trigger which is obviously good for 22 long rifle in case you have a failure to fire. Grips, nice and solid, quite sharp, but I think that's good for, for obviously maintaining a good grip on the pistol. And the recoil, the recoil's not that bad. It's very good. What don't I like about this? Okay, so the safety catch, which does act as a hold open catch, gets in the way of the magazine release catch. So you actually need to break your grip to be able to get round to release the slide. The so-called ambidextrous safety is terrible almost may as well not be there seeing as you don't even have a slide release on that side and last but not least the price i paid 1850 pounds for this pistol i think the base one is 1750 but i got the red dot for an extra hundred pounds but overall i can't fault it it does work very well i i suppose the bonus about a large safety on the left hand side is you can actually use it to reinforce your grip but anyway that is my review on the KMR S01 Lance